Какво ще правим сега тебе? Exciting feminist short. A woman is captured by a man, but manages to conquer them and free herself. I love the clever plot as we discover the story is being played out with figurines by boys and a feisty, confident little girl. I enjoyed the medieval wardrobe and atmosphere of the adult scenes, and the fight choreography was a lot of fun. The epic soundtrack that underscores the action is awesome and suits the woman's victory. Excellent job. I love this movie. This was this was great. I loved, you know, just coming in and getting right into the action and, and kind of meeting the characters that way. Um, and there was some great, you know, fight choreography. I think one thing that would probably help because the, the fighting is so good, I think a really small thing would just be more sound effects, I think could have helped... Um, make the the fighting even seem even better than it already is and it's already great and then yeah you know the the cutaway to the kids at the end is just you know the perfect ending and those those kids are so cute and they're so funny um yeah i loved it it was great so good job i loved the concept of i win where we're in this um like period kind of world and there's a damsel in distress, if you will, and a man who has captured her and then men coming to her rescue, except not really. Um, and so we think it's going to be this, this action piece. And uh, then we find out that it's actually this group of children who are playing a game and playing, you know, fantasy. And um, the fact that they wouldn't let her play the little girl. And she was like, no, I want to play. I can play. And in fact, I'm going to, you know, fight all of you and win. And then when we like flash back into the fantasy world, um, you can see that, that parallel and she ends up not needing any man to save her. And she kicks all of their butts and, and walks away triumphantly. And it was just so, um, satisfying and endearing and I and I just loved the message here I love how they were able to get really creative and incorporate um you know the costumes and the weapons and all of that stuff um and we really get to like be a part of that fantasy that the that the children are playing in so um really really great job I loved the fighting and the action scenes I thought it was well choreographed and um great message overall really fun story I I um you know really liked the uh just the absolute subversion of it all um you know at first it's like oh damsel in stress guys trying to rescue her and then once she gets freed though then she you know she's able to take everybody out and then it turns out it's a bunch of kids playing a game so that's awesome and, um, you know, I love how really the story is actually about a little girl who, um, you know, is asserting her authority and her strength over these, these little uh, silly little bully boys, you know. Um, the kids were adorable uh, and they were great. They, they were such good performances out of those children. And then I also love the, the adult performers as well. Everybody did a great job. Choreography was cool. Fighting was fun. So, um, you know, great job on this. Nicely directed and edited. Nice score. Um, performances were all great. Love the kids. So, uh, excellent I work. I loved this. At the beginning when, you know, she's tied to the tree and the archer comes in and the big fight scene and everything. Um, it was like, oh, like, that's interesting. Like, see how it goes or whatever. And then when they kind of, like, flash back and it's kids playing, I thought it was so clever and so smart. And then to have the, the kids bickering because it really does start that young um with girls being told that like they're gonna be the damsels in distress and like they need a man to save them and you know all these things and i loved her ending of it of her just being like well i'm gonna do things my way uh because like who told you that who says it's true whatever and uh, her tying all of them up, I thought was fantastic. This was probably one of my favorite ones. Gosh, ingenious. Just absolutely ingenious what they decided to do with the story. The, um, 
the writer of this excellent job, directed it so well, loved the fact that it was four kids playing and what we were seeing was the live action adults of kind of like what was going on inside their um, fantasy world of how they were playing. I don't know, uh, I don't know quite how to describe it, but you know, it's kind of what a child's fantasy is and you're, you're seeing it live and in person. And thank you. I loved the fact that it was the woman who ended up picking up the sword and defending the man and, you know, helping to save him. Basically, she did save him. So I thought that that was really very, very clever and ingenious. I really loved all of the cinematography. All of the, the acting was great. All of the actors did such an amazing job too. So that always, that always helps because it really sucks you in and you just want to see what's going to happen. It was next. really cute, especially when you learn that it's a game being played by two kids at the end. Um, yeah, it was just such a fun show of movement. I feel like um, dance, the the free flowing movement, once you get past the, the technicality of dance, it's so childlike and freeing. And to have it be with this fun story of a girl, you know, uh, being freed, but then turning it around and, um, and like fighting the other kid and then winning and, you know, I win. Like, I think it's such a fun story and a, a really interesting look at, um, at like the, the idea of damsel in distress and just like childlike movement and playing overall. I just, a really, really fun piece. I love this movie. It's so great. I mean, I didn't realize, you know, at the beginning of it when I saw this incredible woman, you know, sword fighting with these guys and, um, you know, just the, the period piece of it all and saving the day and just being, pardon my French, but just being a badass. She was a badass. Um, and then to cut to the kids and it turns out they're, they're playing with their dolls and um, I just loved it. I really, really loved it. It's so fantastic. It's such a um, female empowerment piece. Um, it's it, it really just put a smile to my face. Um, this little short film that just really is thought provoking and inspiring and um, makes me proud to be a woman. So congratulations and thank you for making this. It's absolutely wonderful. It is a fun thank little you. piece. Uh, I really enjoyed the twist that comes uh, towards the end, how we reveal that this is kind of playtime. And while it's kind of whimsical and everything, it's having a real discussion about um, gender inequality and these these wrongful preconceptions that we have and what's great is that the little girl and the girl in the story both circumvent um those misconceptions and come out triumphant so i i love the messaging uh the costumes are great and it all just roundabouts into a really meaningful piece that's also quite fun mm -hmm.